This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate all my Libras out here. For my cross watches, this energy can't be resonated. So just be a little aware that as you're tuning in. We got the world in the tower. So for a lot of my Libras, something is coming to an end, but it's also a new beginning coming in for Libra. This is something that Libra didn't see coming. We got justice. We got a little bit of Libra energy. Somebody could be dealing with another Libra. This could be your energy with the tower and justice. This means things are going to work in your favor. This is a good ending. This is a battle that you've been fighting for a while coming to an end. We got the star. So this is you stepping into your prom. For a lot of my Libras, this is you stepping into a moment that you didn't see. We got the lovers, the fool. Okay, so be careful for some of my Libras, especially for those of you in a relationship. I don't know if this is you playing games. This could be this person. It's a lot of lying, a little bit of third party energy around Libra. So just be careful. We got the high priestess. This is definitely my Libra's energy right now. Take what energy resonates in. Libra does it with someone else. We got the sun and then we got strength. So for a lot of my Libras, we got a little bit of Leo energy. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. You could have a Leo coming in. A lot of you are stepping into a big moment. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. A lot of people are going to be noticing your work. We have the emperor. We have the wheel. And then we got hermit. So some of you could be in hermit mode right now. I'm getting emperor energy coming towards you. A lot of my Libras are more waiting to see what's going to happen, how situations going to play out and you know, which way a situation is going to go. We got the Ten of Swords. And we got the Empress. This is definitely the indication of a new beginning. We got the Lovers. We keep getting indication about love. So for a lot of my Libras, especially for those of you that have a single, this is definitely the indication of new love coming in. This is love that you haven't had. This person is the complete opposite of you. This could be a fire sign. This could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius with the Lovers card and two of cups. This person is like... You're the positive, you're, like, it's like a magnetic force, like, you two are just drawn together. We got the Knight of Cups. This person definitely has Knight of Cups energy. Definitely getting Aries, Leo for a lot of my Libras. You currently could be dealing with the Knight of Cups right now. We got the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So, for a lot of my Libras, this is a solo journey. A lot of you are going to be so going on a solo journey as far as your career or money or being an entrepreneur. A lot of my Libras are entrepreneurs right now and business owners. A lot of my Libras are working for themselves and kind of just doing things at their own pace. And it looks like things are definitely working out for you. We got some Virgo energy. Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe a Sagittarius, possibly an Aries. We got worthy of feelings. We got some Libra energy here. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. We got make time for self-love. We got some Gemini energy. We got to speak your world into being. We got reflect your, your priorities. We got some Aquarius energy. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius or have a history. We got some Taurus energy. We got to be proud of yourself. So for a lot of my Libras, right now the universe feels like you're being a little bit too hard on yourself. But at the same time, they're also wanting you to focus on what's important and what's ahead of you. Especially if you're dealing with an Aries or Aquarius or Taurus for those of you dealing with the Aries or Sagittarius, work through your feelings and see the bigger picture of this connection. Pay attention to the details, Libra, because it's something that you're missing. This could be the fact that you're leaving yourself out. Would make time for self-love and, you know, giving somebody so much energy, you're kind of forgetting about yourself. I'm getting that's where a lot of my Libras are messing up right now. We got some Libra energy showing up. We got some Scorpio energy release your blocks. We got some Sagittarius energy practice gratitude. So for a lot of my Libras, this is you stepping into your prime. What else is coming in for Libra? What else is coming in for Libra? We got dreams of abundance. We got facial financial fears. Organized for success. And no more complaining. So for a lot of my Libras, complaints are affirmations of victimhood. So as long as you continue to complain, your situation won't change. I'm seeing a lot of you dreaming for a big moment, but... Of course, in order to get there, you got to face your financial fears. For some of my Libras, you do have some financial obligations that you're needing to tend to right now. That's why they told you to reflect on your priorities. We got a windfall of abundance. We got partnership. This is allowing healthy, helpful partnerships into your relationships, even career or love-wise, you know. And returning that energy with windfall of abundance, especially if you're wanting abundance to come in right of you, you know, support those who support you we got block out distractions your life purpose and other priorities are calling your undivided attention so it's time for you to take charge of your working schedule by turning off electronics and anyone or anything that distracts you from these goals so for a lot of my leaders this is going to be falling back from social media or maybe just falling back from 
a lot of people kind of decluttering your brain, decluttering your space and letting go of guilt because some of you are holding on to some type of guilt because of a situation from the past. I am still doing five for five questions for Libra. I appreciate every single Libra. You can check out the description below for more. Thank you.